Hello, it's Markham and Torch Chief, Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using simple cloth to kind of spruce up this couch on the left to the right. So at the moment, I've got this empty scene, I've got the couch, I've got three point lights. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's do some funky stuff. So once you've downloaded the add on, you go edit, preferences, install, find where you've downloaded the file, double click on it, and then it should be appear, put a tick next to it, and then it becomes available. So from here, I'm going to press N to bring up the side panel and I've already got simply cloth selected. The very first thing I'm going to do is select the couch and I'm going to apply collisions to it. So let's just apply the two cushions and the couch. So now they've got collisions on top of it. From here, I'm going to throw in a blanket. So let's go shift A, add in a mesh, add in a plane. Let's go tab into edit mode and you see it's in the ground at the moment. So let's go GZ. We'll bring that up. I'm going to scale that in a smidgen and then I'm going to right click and subdivide, 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 and one more, just to give it that extra geometry. So when we start simulating cloth, it's got a lot more details to work with. So what I'm going to do now is press tab to go back into object mode. I'm going to press create cloth and I'm just going to press play. Bam. It threw, went through the floor. So let's maybe select the floor and activate collisions on there as well. So what we can do is I can press play and then we can pause it at a specific point. And you can see that it adds an extra layer of subsurf to the actual mesh. But while it's calculating, you'll see that it actually looks a bit janky. But then as soon as I pause it, it puts on the subdivision surface on there, making it look good. However, we see that it falls to the floor. So I'm just gonna press tab. Let's click reset to reposition it, tab into edit mode, and I'm just gonna put it like so, just find a nicer place and press play. Let's press pause like that. So it's sitting on there. We can see that there's a bit of a gap in between all this. So what we can do is we can come down into object collision. I'm gonna turn that to 0.01 and then on the cushions as well, where it says the thickness inner and the thickness outer, that's kind of the, the collisions there. I'm just gonna change that to maybe 0.005. And we'll do that on there as well on both sides. And let's just quickly do it on all three items. So the couch items, let's reset, press play, pause. And there we go. We can see that it's a lot closer, which is fine because the scene that I'll be using it in will be a lot further away. Still not kind of happy how with how that looks. So let's maybe just increase the size a bit, re reset, and then press play again, pause. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. I'm fairly happy with that. Now, one of the cool features of Simply Cloth is we've got actually a lot of presets. So I can actually come into here and we can change this to maybe a cotton blanket. And we can see that we get some different results. We can reset that. Let's change it to a leather blanket. And we should see that it's a lot stiffer. <laughs> reset. Let's check another one. Let's maybe go heavy silk and then pause. Probably for this one, we would add a lot more geometry because we're getting a lot more wrinkles. You can see it's coming through and that's because we decrease that object collision. So let's just go reset on that one. I probably want to do maybe a wall. Pause. That's actually a, a little bit too thick for my liking. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just recenter that. Let's go G to the Y, maybe put it like so. Rotate on the Z. How's that look? Let's press tab. Let's press play and pause. That's actually not what I'm after. So maybe, yeah, let's go back into our cotton reset. Uh, just gonna move it down a smidgen. Let's press play, pause. There we go, something like that. Let's leave it with that. Let's now jump over to extreme PBR combo. I'm just gonna select the fabrics. There we go. And maybe a, maybe this yellow, that'll stand out nice. <laughs> Looks like a floor mat, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Tab into edit mode. Let's just maybe change the scale to 0.25. There we go, that's a bit better. So we now we've got that more contrast in the background. Back into Simply Cloth, reset, play, done. What I wanna do now is I wanna apply that. So I go up here and press apply cloth and we can see that we've got a lot more geometry. If we want to counter that geometry, we can go into add modifier decimate and we can go unsubdivide by two. And we can see we've got a little bit poking out, but I'll just show you what we've done. This is what it was originally. 
and then this is what we brought it down to. Now, because I'm not too concerned about geometry, I'm just gonna leave it at that. From here, let's add a pillow. So what I'm gonna do is just press Shift A, add in a mesh, add in a cube. Let's scale that in, G to the Z. I'm just gonna kind of roughly get a pillow shape. That looks like a pillow, doesn't it? Ha <laughs> Let's do a few edge loops, a few edge loops. All right, I might even put an edge loop through the center there. What I'm gonna do now is, let's go back into Simply Cloth. Let's create a cloth. This time, rather than having a cloth preset, I'm gonna go Pressure, and then I'm gonna press Play. And you can kind of see that it increased in size. Maybe let's just put that in a better place so it doesn't actually fall onto the ground. From here, I'm gonna press Play. We can see that it goes into very much of a cube shape, pause. And then we can see that it's nice and rounded. I think that pillow is maybe a little bit too thick. So let's scale that down. Maybe delete this edge loop and reset play, pause. And there we go. We've got a nice pillow using the pressure system. We can also do shrinking, but obviously that's not really applicable here um, where it shrinks in on itself. But those are some other cool things. What else this add-on does is we can pin groups. Um, we can do sewing. So we can sew close, um, cloth together. And then the pressure is what we were just doing just before. So there's quite a few other options. I do have another video on it, but we're just focusing on these few things at the moment. So from here, I'm gonna apply that cloth. Let's come into Extreme PBR Combo again, Fabric. Let's click this white one, add new. That's looking quite nice. Texture's a little bit stretched, but I'm not too concerned about that purely for the fact is, is it's gonna be a little bit far off. Let's go 0.25. There we go. Rotate Z, whoops. Let's go tab into edit mode, rotate 90 degrees on the Z axis. I'm just gonna line that up. Probably, you can even make it a little bit bigger, scale on the X, like so. I'm just gonna place that like that. All right, and then if we come into this view, we can see how much this has changed. So this is the Simply Cloth add-on. Link is in the description. And if you want, check out Extreme PBR Combo. That's another wonderful add-on. If you have any other add-ons you want me to review, please make sure you leave a comment below. And if you can, if you want to support me, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up.